What's past? I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Windows again to fix some problems and one error that I'm getting specifically and some other errors I'm gonna show you guys how to fix them and first of all the first thing that you want to have is a USB that is mounted with any Windows whichever version that you want I'm gonna be using Windows 10 technical preview just to save my computer for this time whatever is on your D drive as long as I know stays on your D drive as long as you uh, install Windows on your C drive so that's what we're gonna be doing today uh, we're gonna plug our USB right in. I'm going to show you guys the error that I get. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the error that I get and hopefully, sorry, hopefully, uh, if you follow this guide, you'll be able to fix this error and other errors. So when you, when I boot up my computer, I automatically get this recovery that the PC has to be recovered. Uh, so in order to fix this problem and this error, all you have to do is you have to get your USB mounted and actually what I'm facing is even if I press enter it won't actually work and I can't actually get the startup settings from F8 so what, would I, what I'd have to do is have to kill my computer and currently something happened to the battery too I don't know if it's related or not but currently we just have to reopen the computer and I'm going to get you guys in a better view just in a second. We're going to press ESC for my computer. It might be F11, F10, F1 for other computers. And we're going to select whatever it's for you. Uh, I'm going to select F9 for boot device options. You should have something like that. Then we're going to select the USB hard drive, which is this. And then we're going to press any key. And that should mount Windows uh, from the USB drive. And that's how you get to the installation. And much from there is easy. Uh, but yeah, that's how you would be doing it, guys. I'm going to go a little bit to the steps. And I'm going to show you guys how to continue from here. Alright, so as you can see, it loaded for about 2-3 seconds. And what we have is, well, I installed the technical preview in Turkish, which sort of sucks, but I'll be translating so you guys can understand a bit better, and I'm going to pick the US, and we're going to press install now, and that will start the installation, and as you can see, it's installing from the USB, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can't see, it's, like, it's actually installing from the USB over here. Now, uh, I have another video showing how to install Windows 10 without, uh, without USB so you can also do that right after uh, this I'm going to skip this for now the key for Windows I'm going to accept terms and conditions and press next okay so I do want to keep my files if you want to um, if you want to just install Windows gets a little bit more confusing I'm just gonna correct, uh, press keep my files oh actually this uh, this technical computer that I downloaded doesn't support that so we're gonna have to go from go from scratch again okay let's go well I'm still gonna keep my D drive then I would be installing Windows to my C drive and that's what you can do actually you can do a backup on your C drive, so this is where we get, right? It's where it gets a bit complicated. I'm going to help you guys through this, and I can make another video for part two, whether you guys need help from there. But what I'm going to be doing is I have my storage, which I want to keep, and I have this. This is actually my Windows, right? This over here. Sorry, if I, you can't see it from my hand. I to get a better view for you guys. This is what I want to keep. This is what I had C drive already. It had 146 gigabytes. This is my storage, this is D drive. So I want to keep my D drive. I'm not going to delete it, this is delete. What I want to do instead is I want to delete everything except my storage. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, this is okay. Well, let's take system reserved. Actually, I'm just going to reinstall it on uh, two, so you should have. 
this uh yeah let's let's do it on this and you do want to make sure oh it actually doesn't have okay see this is c that's the system reserve this is d is currently this but normally it would be storage which is f which is what i made it doesn't have to be that way for you but in case you are not that way In case you're not that way, I'm going to show you guys now how to make a storage in, on top of uh, if you don't already have one. But if you don't already have one, you could just, I'll show you right now, press, all you have to do is, you have to press new, and you can create a new one. Right, so when you select the drive, you're going to go click next and that is where you want to install windows now this is what i'm going to be doing actually i'm going to keep my old windows and there's going to be file okay so like i was saying you have to um if you're going to install on top inside the windows and the system folder you're going to have windows.old you can delete that if you don't need it but since i'm going to install it on top of that all i do is press next and the installation starts right here if you had the uh if you had the version where you would be able to install on top of your existing windows you could select that that's just basically upgrading and it should write upgrade there so that's all for this video guys and uh, for the next video i'm going to be showing you guys if you need help from here but mostly it would be just uh just uh simple stuff you're just gonna have to follow the wizard and it's gonna get to 100 percent and it would be going on and on and on and then it's gonna say preparing your windows for you, you can install your windows, etc, etc. But thanks for watching so much guys, if you have any problems, errors, please do let me know in the comments below, I've been with you for this video, hope that solved all of your errors, thanks for watching again, and happy to sum that up in 5 minutes on top of the 2, so yeah, peace.